Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. How are you? Very well. Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> You're gonna very well, teacher. <laughs> very well. <laughs> well, um, how was I mean? How was your day today? It was raining a lot. I got wet when I when I was coming home. Even though I had an umbrella, I was pretty wet. <laughs> what about you? Did you get wet? No se mojaron. Did you get wet? No. Oh, oh not this. <clears throat> oh, okay. No. Good for you because I got wet. <laughs> you did, Nancy? Yo sí. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but it was raining very hard. Yeah, and, and there was a big traffic. But thank God we are here. Are you ready for today's class? Yes, teacher. Okay, so what is the first thing we have to do? Take the attendance, right? Right. <laughs> okay, Victor is looking for the sign now. Outside his Hello. Office. Hello, Victor. <laughs> um, are you looking for reception? And the camino para casa. Ah, oh, you're going home. Okay, on the way home. Two minutes. Okay, Victor, it's okay. <laughs> we appreciate your effort, Victor. Okay, guys, just let me open the file for the attendance, okay? And meanwhile, uh, were you able to have a look at the presentation I sent today? Could you check it? No. Chair. No? Okay, so maybe you can do it in this moment while I take the attendance, right? Because I need to look for the file, okay? That is in OneDrive. And then you can tell me what's today's, tonight's topic, this evening's class topic. Well, it's taking a long time. Okay, in five minutes, I'm going to I'm going to take attendance. Okay, because I have oh, there you go. Give me a second, guys. Well, this is advantage for those who are just connected. We have thirteen participants. And let me project the screen for you. Okay, guys, so this is video conference number 12. That means that we are just missing a more, a more classes and then this course is gonna be finished. Okay, 
Can you see my screen now? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So today, okay. yeah, we have the unit three communication at the workplace. And what is today's topic? How to use should and should not. And should not. Or in the contracted form, shouldn't. Should not. Yes, can somebody read the class objective, please? Okay, students will be able to use should and, and should not to make a list of appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Thank you. So we're gonna talk about the behavior at work. And we have the following activities. Um, can somebody read the agenda, please? Another volunteer. Marco, please. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Okay. I read the agenda. Please. All right. Warm up one should and shouldn't activity for wrap up. Thank you. I think I was freezed <laughs> for a little time. I'm having problems with my internet today. I think it's because of the rain. Okay, I will tell you attendance now. Okay, so yeah, I thought of this of this topic for the warm up coronavirus vocabulary because um, also it's going to be uh, useful for today's topic. Mm -hmm. The use of should and shouldn't to give advice. So that's why I put that topic. Okay, now um, it's time for me to take the attendance. Okay, so I'm going to do it in this moment. Just I don't know why my computer is slow sometimes. I need to buy a new one. Maybe my, my dear students can give me one as a present. What do you think of that idea? Is it a good idea? Maybe a good student? Yeah. Okay, it's it's loading, guys. It's loading. The good thing is that today, how many participants do we have today? We have. 16, okay, that's great. I don't know what, what a, ah, there you go. Okay. Alba de Nora Vides, Castillo. She's there, teacher. Yes. Okay, Alba. Uh, what about Alfredo Alexander? Here, teacher. <laughs> Here, teacher. Okay. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Present. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Romero. Domingo Alexander. Present. Fátima Portillo. José Matías Lemus. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen, Yes. Okay. 
Fátima no está, ¿verdad? Es que... I don't know. No. Ok. Uh, Karina Yamilne Espinosa. Marco David Velázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Marlon Alberto Cardona. Present. Mauricio Alexander. Mauricio. Maideli Judith. Nancy Lisset. Present. Rocío Maritza. Present. Oh, she's here. Okay, Salvador Edgardo. Present. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Okay. Eh, Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel. Present. William Pérez. Okay, William maybe is not in the class. Okay, guys, thank you. Yeah. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. So, as I was telling you, we are going to have this topic of coronavirus vocabulary. I know, I'm pretty sure you already know this vocabulary, but it's good to practice. So what are you going to do? You have to, you have to tell me what is the, 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 the word or phrase that corresponds to each picture. Okay, so here in the vocabulary we have, for example, coughing. <laughs> okay, that's coughing. And actually the way I am doing it right now, it's incorrect because you have to do it like this. <laughs> okay, prevent infection, symptoms, get a vaccine. Actually, did you get the two vaccines already? The two doses? Yes. Okay, nice. Fever. Diagnostic test. Immunity. Sneezing. Okay, that's sneezing and transmit disease. Okay, so what can you tell me about this picture? What what does this picture represent? Number one, fever, maybe? No, or... Fever. 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 Mm. I think um, fever. I'm sorry, Rocio? Symptoms. Symptoms, exactly. Symptoms. No? Very good, yeah, symptoms. symptoms. Yeah, thank you. What about, yeah, we'll try to put it like, what is it? Symptoms, right? Symptoms. Uh, what about this one? Yes, diagnostic, diagnostic test. test. Oh, um, diagnostic test. Okay. This one? Coughing. Oh, coughing. 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 Who's coughing? No. Coughing. No. Coughing. I, I would say that this one because it's sneezing, yes. Because the person has the, all, the eyes closed. And when you sneeze, you close uh -huh. your eyes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. 
You can't sneeze with your eyes open. You can't. Yeah, you have to close your eyes. I mean, it's a, it is like that. You have to close your eyes when you sneeze. What about this? Wearing a mask, it's a way to? Prevent infection. To prevent infection, yes. And this one? Fever. Fever. Yeah. Fever. Fever. You see, you're, you take your temperature and it's over 37.5. So that means that you have fever. And this one, after you have uh, taken some vitamins, mm -hmm. got the two vaccines, then you are, you have immunity. 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 Okay, if you shake hands, you can yeah, transmit disease. Trans Transmit the disease. Trans the disease. <laughs> Transmit the disease, yes. What about this one? Yeah, some people is afraid of getting yeah. a vaccine. Yeah, vaccine. Yeah, vaccine. Yes. Which yeah. vaccine did you get? I got Moderna, and you? Pfizer. Sinovac. Pfizer. Sinovac. Sinovac. Did somebody, did somebody get a <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. No, like, a <laughs> Oh, it's because it's, it's, it's Friday, right? It's Friday. Okay. So the last one. Good idea, Domingo. Good idea. <laughs> we, we, we need to disinfect the, the organs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a way to <laughs> immunize. Okay, coughing is the last one. Okay, coughing. Very oh. good, guys. Ahora, can alguien me los puede decir? Or can you please repeat after me? Coughing. Coughing. Prevent. Prevent infection. Prevent infection. Prevent infection. Symptoms. Symptoms. Get a vaccine. Get a vaccine. Get a vaccine. Get a vaccine. Fever. 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 Diagnostic test. Diagnostic test. Diagnostic test. Immunity. 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 Sneezing. Is missing. Yes, transmit disease. Transmit disease. Okay, next activity. Now, when we use should or shouldn't, we use should or shouldn't to give advice. Lo usamos para dar un consejo, una sugerencia o una recomendación. We give it to we use it to give advice. Okay, now, with this thing of coronavirus, there are things that you shouldn't do and things that you should do. Okay? Cosas que usted debería hacer y no debería hacer. For example, you should or shouldn't cough and sneeze in your elbow. Should. should. Yes, you should, should sneeze and cough in your elbow, like that, okay? Like this, okay? Not like this, because then if you touch other things, you are going to transmit the disease, okay? <laughs> what about number two? Throw away use tissue into the bin. You should or shouldn't. A tissue is, oh, I had one over here. Let me see if I can, if I can find it. Yeah, a tissue. Uh, shoot, okay. Shoot. So you use it. Shoot. And then, no, right? You have to put it or throw it away into the bin. 
you should you should you should you should go away you should throw away use t-shirt into the bin no guardar la verdad y volverla a usar no 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 you have to throw it away into the bin the garbage can or the bin what is it true throw away throw you shouldn't throw away is that put it in the garbage can botarlo you should you should Issue. Issue. Es. Tú debes tirar el, el, el pañuelo, el, ajá, el tissue usado en, en, el, en el basurero. Oh. Uh -huh. no you, lo should. you should. Ah, no, no lo va a dejar allí, ¿verdad? Y lo va a usar. No, no, no. You have to throw it away into the bin. Okay, number three. Sure. You should yes. or shouldn't? Yes, yes, yes. Should. You should. should. Keep a distance with your should classmates and your distance. teachers. You should. Yeah, should you then. should keep the distance. That's why we are keeping the distance, right? For I'm um, very far away. For example, Marco is in Santa Ana and we are here in San Salvador. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a, it's a, like a very long distance. Okay, number four, you should or shouldn't sit next to a classmate. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. Okay. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. You shouldn't sit next to a classmate. Number five. You should. You should. You should. You should frequently wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Trust Shooting. me. Shooting. You should. You should. You Be should sure. frequently wash your hands. Okay, wash your hands oh, with a lot of soap issue. and water. Wash your hands frequently. Okay, number six. Touch Be your sure. classmates' pants, pants or boots. You should sure. touch, right? Children, children. Teacher, speak. Diga, Alfredo. <laughs> Marlon has a question. Oh, Marlon has a question. Okay, Marlon, please tell me. Sorry, teacher. Just if the letter D is right in the word tissue. In the oh, second. Oh, yes, you are right. That is a mistake. Okay, thanks. I just had the dog. Yeah, no, it's without the D at the end, okay? Thank you for the observation. I haven't noticed. Number seven, you should or shouldn't always sit in the same table. Should. You shouldn't. You, you shouldn't. shouldn't. You should always. You should. You should sit it at the same table, right? Like well, the same day. Okay, number eight. You should or shouldn't hug your friends. Oh, this is the most difficult part. Hug. Hug your friends you like shouldn't. in this picture. Children. Yeah. Children. You shouldn't hug your friends. You shouldn't hug your friends. You shouldn't, you shouldn't hug your friends. Yeah, and that's very difficult sometimes, right? Children. Because you love your friends and you want to hug them. Number nine, play football or basketball with your friends. Children. 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 And number one. 10, you have a bottle of water? You should. Show. Show. You should. Show. You should, you you should, should have your own bottle of water, okay? Excellent. Pues miren, ya vimos aquí el tema de la clase. <laughs> Teacher, I have a question. Okay, Rocio, what's your question? When you use show cool or cool your mind? Okay. Well, as we were learning yesterday, you use cool when you want to make a request. For example, could you please um Give me the answer. 
would you mind giving me the answer? Okay, so would you mind and could you? The same, isn't the same, the same use to okay. ask for a request. Another could be, Rocio, could you send me the homework? Rocio, would you mind sending me the homework? Okay. Or Carlos, could you, could you read the example? Would you mind reading the example? Okay. And should is to give an advice, to give a piece of advice. Ana, dar una recomendación. Ah, okay. uh, o, un, uh, con, o un consejo. consejo. Had to give a suggestion, a recommendation, like in this one. For the coronavirus, you shouldn't uh, touch your classmates' pens or books. You shouldn't hug your friends. No debería abrazar a sus amigos, no debería... Eh, tocar las cosas de sus compañeros, ¿verdad? You should keep a distance with your classmates and teachers. You should cough and sneeze in your elbow. You should wear a mask for protection. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay so this you. is advice. Okay. Okay. Teacher, no hay estructura para esas oraciones. Of course, yes. Can you tell me the structure? First, you need to have the subject. In affirmative sentences, the subject, then should, which is a modal verb, is a modal verb, should, and then the verb in base form. And the complement phrase. You should cough. You should throw. You should keep. So the verb is in base form, on infinitive form. Y para el negativo, for the negative form, it's shouldn't. You shouldn't sit next to a classmate. You shouldn't touch your classmate's pants. You shouldn't hug your friends. Okay. Let's go con with the next activity. I should, no. I should explain to the students more clearly. <laughs> okay, look at, this is more vocabulary for the coronavirus. We have social distancing. Can somebody read please? Walter Daniel, le gustaría, would you mind reading this? Would you mind reading the, the vocabulary, please, for social distancing? Right away. Okay. Um, social distancing. Uh, avoid close contact with other people to stop the spread. Of a, of a disease. Okay, excellent. Social distancing guidelines mean I now work from yeah. home or I study from home. Self isolation. Self isolation. Let me see. Uh, let me see who could you. Rocio, could you please read self-isolation? Self-isolation, staying at home so that you don't infect other people. Exactly. I mm -hmm. Go ahead. I haven't left the house since I went into self-isolation. Yes, yeah, self-isolation is because um, if you are infected, you have to keep quarantine, the quarantine in your home. Lockdown, this is a very important word. Lockdown. Let's see who, Carlos Walberto, could you read it please for the class? Okay. Lockdown, 
a government order for business to businesses to close and for people to remain in their homes. The country has been for us locked down until May. Yes, so we, we, I mean, our government, the government of El Salvador ordered a, a lockdown, right? Yeah, for like three months last year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was the, the vocabulary that I wanted to share with you in the first activity. Let's go for the use of should and shouldn't. We usually use should and shouldn't when we want to give health advice to people who are sick. Uh -huh. When somebody is sick, you usually give some advice, right? If you have fever, if you have a headache, if you have a stomachache. Mm -hmm. Etc. What are you going to do? You are going to draw a line from the picture to the correct health advice. For example, you shouldn't watch TV when you have a headache. Ay, pero es que este está con el otro dibujito. Let me see. Nobody's not here. Has to be in this part. Uh, the girl. The girl, exactly. The girl. Very good. Okay, number two. Karina, can you please read it? You shouldn't. Teacher, what? The, this one, the second one. And uh, uh, you shouldn't eat candy when you have to, to, a to toothache. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Let me see. What El, is the picture? La oh, the previous one. Yes. The, the la primera. One. Excellent, Karina. Yeah, you're right. You should stay in bed when you have a high temperature, right? Yeah, back. That goes with the other, with, in the other dislikes, in the other dislikes. This one, 38, um, 38 degrees. 38 degrees. Mm -hmm. What about the next one? Um, Domingo? Domingo? You should cover your mouth when you cough. When you cough. When yes, you cough. when you cough. Mm -hmm. Matias? Yes. Uh, you should eat some food when you have a sure, short, short, short throat. Yes, a sore throat. Uh, number three. Mm -hmm. When you number have a three. sore throat, it's better to eat. Short food, yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, number three. Okay, uh, the next one, Nancy. Would you mind reading it for us? You should. You should. They see one you have a road newsy. Okay, you should use a tissue when you have a runny nose. Okay, a runny nose. 
Cuando se les sale los mocos así. <risa> sí, yeah, like in the picture. Mm, no me digan que no les ha pasado eso. Don't tell me. Because I am sure you have. La niñez, oh. teacher. La niñez, <laughs> And the last one, Alfredo. Could you please read it? Yes, of course. Uh, you should take some medicine when you feel sick. Excellent. Yes, you should take some medicine when you feel sick. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you guys for your participation. So as you can see, we have the, again, you should and the verb, it. You should use. You should take. You should cover. So, this is so simple and so easy. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. And, okay, so as I was telling you, um, should is, is um, commonly used to give advice when you are sick, but also, you know, in other contexts, like, Today, we are going to learn how to give advice in the place of work, okay? We are going to talk about behavior at workplace. Let me ask you, does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? What are some unacceptable or what is some unacceptable behavior in your company? Can you give me a, examples of inappropriate behavior in your company? Use the phone. Okay. What else? Smoke in the company. Smoke, okay. Drive more than 10 kilometer power. Okay, to drive uh, over. Okay, over 100 kilometers per hour. 10 Leap. kilometers. 10 kilometers. Leap. Kilometers. Good. Kilometers. So, um, here we have an example in this conversation. They are talking about uh, the behavior. So listen to the conversations between Claudia and Raul. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely, that is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. <laughs> okay, I really like this conversation. Okay, um, so as you notice, they are talking about, they are gossiping. They are gossiping about a, about a, a co-worker. Can you please um, practice the conversation with a partner? I will assign you into rooms. And um, if you want, you can also change the situation into another one that is inappropriate in your, co in your, in your work. Um, do you already take a screenshot or photo? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yes, I'm gonna put you into groups. We have 18 participants, so I'm going to create let me see a groups.
Y no podemos hacer la misma conversación. Yo le... Bueno, ok. No problem, no problem. Ok, lo siento. No, 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 no problem, no problem. Ok. Uh, you are Claudia and Rose. Okay. I can barely eat rubber. He's addicted to eat. He's helpful. Pong. Pong, perdón. Did you see it? You are right. He shall not shut in the meeting. Absolutely. What is not poly? He shall answer his mess. Hi, Victor. Hi, Carla. Okay, so are you able to practice the conversation? Victor, don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carla. Can you repeat what you said, please? Are you at work? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I understand. David, can I practice with you? <laughs> I, I guess he's not at home either. Maybe. Okay, so you're practicing with Sandra. Good. Answer his messages after. The meetings. Jean. Este, hay palabras que me cuestan. Es him. Así como que him. pensé que con J. Him. Instead. Ahora voy a empezar yo. Him instead. Eh, I can believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. I'm sure. I'm not trying to make Absolutely, that is not polite. Uh, a sure hour is messenger. I for the meeting and we sure not can die. I will bring tax non to enter. I agree, we should help him instead. Good job, guys. Thank you, Marlon, for helping Karina. And thank you, Karina, for practicing. Marlon, I have a question for you. Can you stay um, the ten, in the 10 minute session to after class? Play. Really? Yeah. Yes, I can, teacher. Okay, because yesterday was your turn, but you, okay. you couldn't make it to the class, right? Yes, I couldn't assist. Okay, you couldn't attend yesterday. Okay, but the good thing is that today you are here and uh, I know you are very responsible and uh, you have studied it even though you were not in the class. That's great. Let's go to the main session. Okay, teacher. Thank you, guys. Um, can I have two volunteers to share with the class? To practice in front of the class? Okay, Carlos. And Carlos needs a partner. 
my my partner. Okay. Rocio. Okay. But not me. <laughs> no. Oh, me teacher. Okay. I was happy because I said, "Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to practice the conversation with Carlos," but he doesn't want me. He wants you, Rocio. <laughs> I start. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you think? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Great, guys. You do it. I mean, very realistic. <laughs> Thank you for putting that enthusiasm. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's see what is next in our presentation. Oops. Uh -huh. Are you able to see my screen? No. Yes. yes. Okay. So now you have to discuss these questions. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? Okay, polite behaviors refers to those actions that are good. Examples of good behaviors or polite behaviors um, saying please, Thank you, greeting, right? Good morning, good afternoon, goodbye. Those are greetings, polite behaviors. And paying attention to you, uh, be punctual, those are polite behaviors. What about some rude behaviors? Can you give me examples of rude behaviors at work? Bad answer. Okay, like also using nasty words. You cannot stay in a room without the mask. Okay. Yeah, now with the pandemic, that's important. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you some other examples in, in, in the next slide with some pictures, okay? But I want to explain what behavior is. Behavior is the way that someone acts in different situations. Example, the company expects polite behavior from all the employees interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior gossiping gossiping about co-workers is rude behavior and that is very common in our country but that's not good okay it's not polite i want to show you these pictures Look at this one. Is this polite behavior or, or um, rude behavior? Polite. Polite, right? It's greeting, greeting someone. It's polite. But now it's with that- pandemic is polite. <laughs> yeah, without, without the coronavirus, it's polite. <laughs> without the coronavirus. Now we have to do it with your elbow, right? Good. What about this one? This picture. The co-workers are laughing at the partner, are laughing at the at the co-worker. Is that rude or polite? Rude. rude. It's rude. rude. Uh -huh. it's 
Yeah, no, it's funny word. but it's rude. It's funny but it's rude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's funny but it's rude. Okay, to laugh at the coworkers. What about these other pictures in which you can see the bus? Is rude. Yeah, the Good bus behavior. is. You know, yelling, yelling at the at the employee. Okay, that is rude. Or overwhelming people with a lot of things, you know, that is not good. Okay, what about this one? Look at the guy. What is he doing? What is he doing? Look at his hand. Is that rude or polite behavior? <laughs> Depends. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's the situation. Aha, uh -huh, guys, why are you laughing? Aha. Uh -huh. Why are you laughing? But is that polite or rude? Polite. Polite. Rude. No, polite. I don't understand this theme, this part. They are okay. friends. No, 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 no. O sea, <laughs> what do you say, polite? Best friends. With benefits. <laughs> okay. We need to keep the, the distance with other people. <laughs> okay, polite, how Matias is good manners, saying please. Thank you. Um, helping others. Greeting. Good morning. Smile. 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 Perdón. Smile. Eso es. Eso es qué. Amable. Es educado. Polite. Es una conducta correcta, apropiada. Appropriate behavior. But this is not appropriate behavior, okay? Touching your partner, touching your, your co-worker. Mm -hmm. Ahí, ¿verdad? Si, si, si abraza mucho a la compañera, ahí, ¿verdad? De una forma... You know. It depends, teacher, on the situation. It depends, ajá. Ajá, ya, ya lo voy conociendo. Hmm. They are best friends. Aha. Uh -huh. Only <laughs> friends. Only friends. Only friends. Okay, what about these girls? What are they doing? They are gossiping. Mira, vos yo creo que aquí ya la van a echar. Good behavior. Te fijaste. <laughs> okay. That is gossip. Gossip. Teacher. Teacher, you don't work in a manufacturing. In a factory. But a day, a day after day after day. Yeah, hour. I know. But it, that's not polite. That's rude behavior. I mean, it's inappropriate. You shouldn't. You shouldn't talk about other people. But. Shooting. If we are realistic, that happens in all jobs. Okay, what about, I'm sorry. The last one, is it polite or rude? It's, it's polite. It's polite, polite. right? Saying thank, thank you. you. Saying thank you, okay. Very good. So how do you shoot and shouldn't? Okay, let's take a look at this. The example says, the girl should answer my good morning greeting. El vigilante debería responder mi buenos días, mi saludo de buenos días. Ajá. Eso es incorrecto, ¿verdad? Cuando no le responden a uno el saludo. That's rude. O no saludar, solo entrar y no saludar, ¿ok? Do not That's greet. That's rude. Okay, the other one. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. Que hacerlo firme, vea, no así, vea. Aguado. 
firme. ¿Ok? The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. Even, even in emails, you have to be polite. You should be polite. You should use a greeting. Good morning, dear um, colleague. Or oh, good morning, dear staff. Good morning, staff. This is me. Uh, you have to greet. You should say please when you ask for a failure. Okay? So you should plus infinitive form or the base form base of the form. verb. Base form. Mm -hmm. The base form. Base form of the verb. verb. Is there infinitive form? In the base form, you must get the same. Infinitive is that lleva el tú antes. Oh, it's a new thing. Ajá, que lleva el tú antes. So you should plus the base form of the verb plus any complement phrase to express a direct suggestion. Okay, what about shouldn't or should not? Dario should not use many emojis in his emails. Imagine an, an, an email from work with a lot of emojis or stickers, that would be fun. <laughs> Helen should not speak so loudly. Okay, there are some people in the world who are very loud. <laughs> Hablan bien fuerte, right? And the other one, Gabriel should not tell sexist jo jokes. That's inappropriate too. And some people do it, right? Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. And the other one, your boss should not shout at you. That's rude also. Your boss should not shout at you. And Alfredo says, no, 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 no. It's not possible, right? <laughs> so you should plus not plus plus what? Base, base form. Exactly. Plus the base form. Of the verb plus any complement phrase to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate. Okay. Another thing here is that you shouldn't wear um, revealing clothes in the case of women, right? Like mini skirts or tops, right? You shouldn't wear revealing, revealing clothes, right? Sí, sí, sí. Es hora de pasar lista. Yes. Thank you. Secretly. I'm sorry, what do you say? <laughs> no, no. When the conversation is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> The conversation, what? Hi, <laughs> these guys, and their secret. Y la teacher very innocent, don't understand, doesn't understand. <laughs> okay, Alba Dinora Vides. Trece. Alfredo Rodas. El Malía. Carla Maritza Sánchez. <risa> Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Romero. Domingo González. Present. Cristina, que no está. Oh, baby. Fátima Portillo de Hernández. Matías Lemus. Present Karina Espinosa. Present teacher. Marco Velázquez. Marlon Alberto Cardona. Present. Mauricio Majano. Maideli Judith. Nancy Rodríguez 
Rocío Martínez. Y Nancy. Present teacher. And Nancy. She was there, right? She was, but now she isn't. Oh, Cristina dice present. Really present in the chat. Cristina And also my daily. Okay, Rocío dice present. Nancy Lise. <laughs> present teacher. Andaba por el baño, quizá. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> oh, ya había dicho present. Really? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, Sandra, okay. Víctor Calzadilla. Present. Salvador Edgardo Escobar. Present teacher. Walter Daniel González. Present. And William Eduardo Pérez. Present. William and his baby are present in the class. Okay. Ah, oh, Fatima. Fatima. Sorry. Yeah, you have just come. Mm, Fatima is. Las llaves combinadas. Only one person is missing. Okay. Time to practice, guys. Look at these problems or these situations. In the first situation says, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give order. He never says, please. What is the recommendation or the suggestion? Peter should ask polite request. Peter should say please when he asks for something. Okay, what about the second situation? When Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts, okay, shout, he shouts. Number three. My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. Never say hello, how are you, or good morning, good afternoon, etc. And number four, Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She laughs very loudly. No, yo creo que aquí querían poner she laughs. Aquí se equivocaron en el libro. She laughs. Se ríe. ¡Ah! Very loudly. I can I can laugh loudly. <laughs> but some people are very loud when they laugh. Okay. So uh, you're going to write um, a, a piece of advice for each situation. Okay. When Kurt is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. So what, it, what are some recommendations or suggestions you give to these people? You are going to write with a partner. So les voy a dejar trabajando en parejas para que lo hagan. Y también exercise seven says. También con su compañero, with your partner. Write three examples of good behavior and bad behavior in business meetings. And take turns role playing short conversations expressing suggestions about those situations, okay? So take turns role playing short conversations expressing suggestions about those situations of good behavior and bad behavior in business meetings. So I'm going to let you work in the breakout rooms. Los voy a dejar trabajando en los breakout rooms. ¿Y qué van a hacer? De nuevo, voy a repetir la instrucción. En su cuaderno, you write three examples of good behavior and bad behavior in business meetings. 
lo vamos a hacer más general, no solo business meeting, no solo en las reuniones, sino también en general, ¿verdad? En su trabajo, a la hora que realiza su trabajo, cuando llega, cuando se va, o en el almuerzo. Tienen que escribir tres, three examples that are good behavior, and three examples that shows bad behavior. Luego van a seleccionar one of those situations, van a seleccionar una de esas situaciones y la van a presentar en frente de la clase, ¿verdad? Así similar a la conversación que está al inicio. Using should. So, so. So, so. Yes. Vaya, van a escribir, van a primero hacer, van a dar una recomendación por esos tres problemas que están ahí. ¿Qué debería hacer la persona? ¿Qué debería hacer la persona que hace, que grita, que no usa saludos en sus correos y, o que se ríe muy fuerte cuando cuenta los chistes? ¿Qué debería hacer? Mire, Alfredo, la risa, Alfredo, de, se acuerda de alguien de su trabajo, de seguro. Y... Luego, con su compañero, van a escribir, van a, a anotar tres comportamientos malos y tres comportamientos buenos. Y luego van a hacer una conversación que van a presentar a la clase sobre una de esas situaciones. ¿Verdad? Solo una porque el tiempo no nos alcanza para que... Role play the three conversations for at least one. Go ahead, guys. Es que lo último es uno. Una cosa de lo que parecida a la... la... Parecida a la primera conversación en la que están hablando, ¿verdad? Que ahí no debería contestar los mensajes. Shouldn't uh, answer the messages during meetings. Because that's not polite. He should answer the, mail, the messages after the meeting. Lo pueden hacer con la situación de la clase, por ejemplo. Puede ser un ejemplo que usa en la clase. Victor, can you please work with Walberto? He's waiting for you in the me in the in the room. Hola. Hello. Hello. Uh, and the number two, I have a. He showed his shoulder to people. Permítame. Mm. 
le tomó captura. ¿Qué es? ¿Me quiere que la podría mandar al grupo? ¿Qué? Por favor. No. Sure, pero pregúntale en inglés. Could you send the picture to the group? Repeat, please. Could you, lo que aprendimos ayer, could you send the picture to could the group? Could you send the picture of the group? Of course. Sure, no problem, of course, right away, in a second, in a minute. Hey, teacher, I say sure. Yeah, I could hear you. It was great. <laughs> Right thank away. You. Okay, thank you. So. Okay. okay. And, uh, number two say mm, when Carlos is angry or things are not as he expects. Uh, no como yo esperaba creo que he, sí sí shoots shoots entonces mi consejo he should not shouldn't shoots the people so and uh, Sure. And the number three, my assistant never use a salutation in her emails. And my assistant shows always. Mm -hmm. And system always do. Salutation. Mid. It is good. Um, my sentence. I'm sorry. I, I, it's good my my sentence. Uh, my assistant always show salutation. I write in the chat. Yeah, it's difficult for me to hear you. My assistant never. Um, not my. My assistant always show salute salutation. Ah, okay. My assistant should always use salutation in her emails. Okay. Gracias, amor. Because I don't know, it's like I having internet problems. He loads, loads. 
It's correct. Loads. Yes, he loves. He loads very loudly. Ah, el ejemplo dice uh -huh. loud. Pero ahí loud. está equivocado. Sería he laughs very loudly. Es laugh. Ahí hay un error en el, en el libro. He laughs very loudly. Se ríe muy fuerte. Ok, la risa no se la puedo cambiar, así que she, won't, she wouldn't yeah, show them. He showed them tell jokes. Uh, he shouldn't tell jokes. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go in over another group. Wow, you are playing loud music. Okay, do you need any help, guys? Do you have any questions? I am here to help. Walter, le preguntas sobre la segunda. Si está bien. Teacher, how do you say uh, tomarlo con calma? Take it easy. 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 He should come down or he should take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, y pero pero take por it la traducción easy. no lo pusimos, teacher, porque es fácil. No, no, es no, que no esa es una expresión take it easy es como calmarte, va. Agarrarla al suave. No, I, I sent it I sent it in the, in the chat. It's because Nancy is asking me for help. Hello. I am here to help you guys. Hola teacher. Hi. Hello. Yes, teacher. Eh, ya terminé los tres cuadros, teacher. Pero de ahí, eso de la parte de abajo fue lo que yo no le entendí muy bien de hoy, teacher, lo que le dije, que no había quedado muy claro ahí, de lo de polite y lo de eh, behavior. 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 Behavior no. se refiere a comportamientos. Ajá. Comportamientos que son apropiados en el trabajo y comportamientos que son inapropiados. Ajá. Behavior. Comportamiento, actions. Mm, yo quedé bastante perdido ahí. Bueno, y de ahí dice de que hagamos tres ejemplos buenos y tres y, y malos de comportamientos buenos y malos. En reuniones, ¿verdad? Este... O en el trabajo Pero... en general. Ajá, pero ¿cómo lo, ¿cómo lo podemos hacer? O sea, tres, tres ejemplos, ¿cómo? Vaya, por ejemplo, puede ser um, interrupting, interrupt people when they speak. Entonces, ahí luego sería, you shouldn't interrupt people when they speak. Sería uno inapropiado, ¿verdad? El otro sería en el apropiado, you should greet when you arrive to your work. Debería saludar. Or you should say good morning when you arrive to your, uh, to your work. Se quiere que hagamos tres oraciones entonces. Uh -huh. Buenas y tres oraciones malas. Uh -huh. 
No, no tres oraciones buenas y tres malas, digamos, ajá, sobre el comportamiento correcto y el comportamiento incorrecto. Ajá, pues es por eso, tres oraciones de comportamientos incorrectos y tres oraciones de, de comportamiento correcto. Uh -huh. Y, y quizás, un ejemplo les... de una de esas oraciones sería lo, 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 un ejemplo bueno, ¿cómo sería? Eso es lo Porque que le... Yo, yo... Porque vale, le voy no, a poner no, no. aquí un ejemplo. Ok. Se los voy a escribir en el chat. Sí, porque yo ahí quedé bastante confuso. Sí, está bien, está bien, lo entiendo. Ya, 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 ya sé qué es lo que voy a hacer. Ok. Teacher, entonces no, no haríamos como... una conversación. Sí, van a hacer una conversación. Eh, corte, traba, Ajá. De esa conversación vamos a sacar lo bueno y lo malo. Uh -huh. Ok, Matías, eso es lo que le estaba explicando. Uh -huh. Vamos a hacer como como la la conversación que que hicimos de primero, que la practicamos. Sí, sí, la de, la de, la de Claudia y Raúl. Uh -huh. De ahí, de esa conversación, lo pasamos para sacar lo bueno y lo malo. Como por ejemplo, si yo soy María, María no saluda a la hora de entrar. O, María, este, no sé. Bueno, allí dijo que vamos a, que va a poner tres oraciones. También tres oraciones. Good you know. Sobre inapropiado. Ay. Bueno, ahí le van los ejemplos. Sí. Ese es un malo o bueno. Debería saludar cuando llegas al trabajo. Sí, ¿verdad? O debería decir good morning cuando llegas al trabajo. Uh -huh. De ese sí lo traduzco, pero sí, se dice. debería saludar cuando llegas al trabajo, ¿verdad? Eh. Usar es weird. De usar cosas. Como accesorios Ajá, o ropa. Sí, wear. Sí, sí. Wear. Also, you should wear the uniform. Si eso es parte de su trabajo, you should wear the uniform. Ajá. Debería you usar should... mascarilla cuando llegas, cuando, cuando, hablo, cuando hablas en tu trabajo, en tu, con tus colegas, ¿verdad? Sí, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Con tus compañeros. ¿Eso es bueno o malo? Es. Es bueno, usted tiene que usar su mascarilla cuando habla con sus compañeros. To prevent uh, infecting others or you get infected. Sí, 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 no, no, o sea, me refiero a que Mano, esa es la no. parte que yo no le entendí. Que cuando dice de que debería, you should, es debería, va. Eh, tú deberías, eh, eh, digamos, un ejemplo... Nadar menos, va, para que sea fácil. Tú deb deberías nadar menos. You should swim more. Que... ¿Cómo es menos? Yes. Ajá, va, entonces. Eh, esa sería una buena, también. Sí, pero es que eso está hablando de algo general. Y ahorita estamos hablando de comportamientos en el trabajo. ¿Cómo debe comportarse? O si se le hace muy difícil en el trabajo, hágalo en la clase. Tal vez le sea más fácil. 
¿Cómo debe comportarse en la clase? You should connect on time. You should participate. You should turn off, turn on your camera. Negativo. You shouldn't. Um, you shouldn't turn off your camera, for example. Or you shouldn't interrupt your classmates. Um, things like that. You shouldn't write in the chat things that are not related to the class. Okay, prácticamente cuando lo que decimos aquí en, en, en bad y good, en los good solo son los should. Y de ahí los, los bad serían los should, shouldn't. Así lo he puesto yo para que se le facilite y no se confunda. Ah, vaya, yo, 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 eso es lo que yo no había entendido. Ok. Vamos a ver, Pastiche. Ahí déjenme. Okay. Uno. ¿Cómo se dice descuidar, Tichel? Mm, puede... Niglic. ¿Mm? Niglic. Ajá, como negligente. Ajá. Niglic, the machine. Use the machine in a... No sabe, negligente. Ahí, lo puse... My colleague shouldn't neglect the machine. Hmm. Mi compañero no debería descuidar la máquina. Sí, también fíjese que se puede usar como misuse. Misuse. Ajá. O neglect. Neglect. Ajá. Neglect. Con CT al final, neglect. Neglect. Ok. My, my, my partner my colleague, shouldn't... My colleague, my colleague shouldn't neglect. Neglect the machine. También okay, disregard. La... ¿Qué hice esa, Tich? Voy a hacer las positivas. Ya hice las tres negativas. Vamos a ver. Teacher, 
fíjense que estoy haciendo la conversación. Ajá. Pero la estoy haciendo diferente a lo, las formas negativas que está haciendo Matías. No sé si afectaría. Vaya, es que vamos a hacer primero, vaya. Vamos a, vamos a dar sugerencias a las situaciones que estaban ahí, que faltaban, ¿verdad? Luego vamos a escribir uh -huh. ejemplos en negativo y afirmativo. Y por último, la conversación. En la, usted usa una de esas, de esas este, situaciones. De eso bien, que nosotros hemos hecho en nuestro trabajo. Ajá. Y pueden tomar una de estas como para, para hacer su conversación. Si gusta Matías, me comparte una de esas para yo ir avanzando con la conversación. Ahorita. Ahí está la... Te voy a mandar una negativa y una positiva. Primero la positiva. Va, ok. Porque el tiempo veo que no lo puedo alcanzar. How is it going, guys? Hi. ¿Cómo va? Sincero, una consulta. En este caso, de los Good Behind Work, yo había comenzado a ponerlo en. You should turn on. Pero luego entendimos que lo behind, lo good behind solo sería la parte de, de, por ejemplo, apagar el teléfono mientras dura la, la, la reunión. Entonces, por ejemplo, ahora sí lo voy a poder ver. Yo puse estos tres. Ok, muy bien. You, de... should, you should turn off your phone while the meeting is... Ah, bueno, ok. Ah, eh, pero you entonces should. tendría que ponerlos el, el, el you should o sin el o sin el you should. Bueno, esas son las situaciones y está bien, pero ahora tiene que dar como la sugerencia. Si lo hace como sugerencia, mejor úsalo el you should. Así Ajá, es. porque lo, así lo comenzamos a hacer, pero tenía, yo tenía la duda de que si era con el should o sin el should. Uh -huh. es mejor con yo el también no, no, por eso las primeras no las puse con el show ajá ah. y en los bad behind board cómo vamos a hacer para poner voy a poner la solución no no el no lo la, la lo que así mal. como you shouldn't ajá no deberías ajá ok entonces, entonces lo voy a solo le voy a agregar el shouldn't Thank you. Uh, you sure. shouldn't be distracted by electronic devices on meeting time. Exactly. Solo que shouldn't be a. Ay, se me pasó. <laughs> Lo siento. Ay, no hay problema. Eso pasa por, porque como es por la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Sí. You shouldn't line in your reports. Excellent, guys. Continue working, please. Okay. Hello. How is it going? Alba, are you working with Cristina? Yo creo que no está, teacher. Ah, está de oyente. Bueno, ¿y qué tal? ¿Cómo va? Usted. Aquí lo, lo intenté estar haciendo, este, resolviendo las primeras tres. Uh -huh. hacer. Y también de lo malo y lo bueno, dijo, solo de lo malo puse como algo que podría estar haciendo en el sentido negativo, 
y también qué podría ser que no, que no se dé esa acción. No sé si me va a entender. O le, le digo el ejemplo que hice. Está bien, dígame. Lo malo puse, they bought a, a poor when hungry, say bad a war. O sea, el jefe cuando se enoja, un ejemplo, el jefe cuando se enoja, dice malas palabras en el trabajo. Entonces puse, they both should, shouldn't, shouldn't, they both shouldn't say bad word a word. Ajá, bad words or nasty words. Nasty words. Nasty, así como se, se escucha con guay at the end, nasty words. Nasty words. Ajá. Eso dice de lo malo. Y uh -huh. uno de lo bueno puse, I had, no sé si lo hice bien, puse had, An educate behavior in word meeting. I have, I have. Educative sería polite. Polite, ajá, polite. Ah, polite. Ajá. Polite behavior in meeting words. Or in work ajá. meeting. In work meeting. Mire, en las reuniones. Ella tiene buen comportamiento en las reuniones. Uh -huh. Hasta ahí lo tengo. Y. Quiero ver, también hice. En la primera dice Peter que da, da gritos, el supervisor da gritos, puse, quiero ver, he should, le puse he should, él no debería hablar, ask for the information please, en la uno. Ah, he should ask uh -huh. uh -huh. figures. Oh, he should say please when he asks for favors. He uh -huh. should say please when he asks for favors. Uh -huh. También está otra que, eh, que el asistente nos saluda al enviar correos. Uh -huh. Entonces le puse, my assistant sure say hello when sending email. Uh -huh. Or shouldn't greet when sending emails. Uh -huh. My assistant should greet when sending emails. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you're doing great, Alba. Vale, todo eso no sé, he hecho ahorita. Está bien. Entonces, cuando pida ejemplos de, de, de las advice for the first situations, you can participate in that part. Vale. Está bien. Thank you. Okay. You can continue writing. Mira el chat. Ahí en el chat puse bastantes ejemplos. Y usted puede hacer alguno de, puede uh, escribir más ejemplos. Is in the mind. Um, is, is. Yes. Hello guys, are you finished? Or is, is there something I can help? Well, teacher, in fact, I think that we have finished. I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? I think that we finished. Okay, you're finished, great. So I will yes. love if you uh, participate when I ask for examples, okay? Thank you, guys. Okay, teacher. Just let me check other people. Hello, Domingo. Who was your partner, Domingo? Eh, teacher, solo ya me quedé en la sala. Ah, no, no, no entró nadie más. Estaba de oyente. My Deli. Ajá, ella solo estaba de oyente, pero no. no ya se no salió. Nada. Sí, se perdió. Ah, vaya, ¿y qué, cómo va con lo que ha hecho? Dígame qué ha hecho. Bye. 
no hice nada. No, Domingo, I don't expect no. that from you. No, en la número tú dice la Wayne Car era Carlos o Carlos Car is Car Car uh, Car is angry or this are not at the he expect the show. Yo puse Car Charm Charm or Charm or Charm shouldn't or shouldn't or shouldn't. Es, es negativo, es should. Shouldn't. 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 Is angry or this are not as the expect as he show shouldn't should. No sé si me entendió, lo pongo en el chat. Si quiere escribirlo en el chat, pero si tra... Sí, ajá. When, ok, sería car shouldn't be angry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or shouldn't get angry when things are not as he expects. Or car okay. shouldn't shout, sería así. Car shouldn't shout. Vamos a ver, sería así, mire. Car shouldn't shout when things are not as he expects. Entonces, ajá. Pero también lo podríamos hacer así, mire, car should control his emotions. Y así lo puse. Car shouldn't be, sería. Car shouldn't be, porque usamos el verbo en su forma base. Car shouldn't be angry for things. When things are not as he expects and he shouldn't shout. No le ponemos la S. Se lo voy a escribir correctamente. Oh, B. Bueno, creo que ya es hora. It's, okay. it's time to come back, ¿ok? Ah, y de la otra, la última, la última, uh -huh. los, los ejercicios, tú se, no sé si la... My worker really like to talk about the defect of other the colleagues. Y la respuesta era, they show no criticism a your co-workers. Co Ajá, uh -huh. you shouldn't criticize your coworkers. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Eso yeah. he hecho. You shouldn't okay. criticize your coworkers, okay? Uh -huh. Sí, y las otras tres ya las había puesto, pero no ya las. Okay. Ya me estaba fingiendo porque estaba yo solo. Mm, forever alone. No, just kidding, you're not. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, wow, I was hitting a lot of ideas from you. Okay, I would like me, I would like you to share with, with the class uh, the advice or recommendations or suggestions for the situations. For example, when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. What solution do you have? What suggestion? Anybody? Carl should be more patient. Okay, he should be. He should be more patient. Oh, patient. Okay. Okay, he, he should, be, should more be, be more patient. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Nice idea. Okay, situation mm -hmm. number three. My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. Recommendation. Alba? My assistant should say hello. Okay. 
Wayne Hans. When sending email. <laughs> Hasta ahí sí, teacher, lo tengo. Ok, thank you, Alba. Situation, uh, oh, do you have any other recommendation? She should be more polite, teacher. Ok, she should be more polite. Excellent, Fatima. Last situation, Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She louds very loudly. Okay, do you have any ideas? Recommendations for Lucy? She, she shouldn't tell jokes. She shouldn't tell jokes in the office. I think she should tell the jokes in lunchtime, but not in the office. Lucy, Lucy she shouldn't, should she shouldn't uh, laugh. Very loudly, laugh. Ahí se equivocaron en, en el libro, pero es laugh. Yo que no me fijé. Ajá, laugh. Sería. Uh -huh. Thank you, Domingo. Okay, guys. Now, what about your conversations? I would like a to, to hear from a couple of students who volunteers. Wow, a lot of volunteers. I for, know. for three examples, teacher. Please, Rocio. Okay, for good behavior. <laughs> uh, we should say good morning. Uh, uh, I forget it. Uh, we should. Uh, ah, Marlon, help me. <laughs> okay, in the in the polite behavior, we wrote. We should say good morning every day. We should be respectful to the partners, and we should be at time of work. Okay, thank you. And what about inappropriate behavior? Well, we had he shouldn't he shouldn't shout to her employees. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't say gossiping about our coworkers. And we shouldn't disrupt when someone else is talking. Okay, we shouldn't interrupt or disrupt. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, does any group have a conversation, role play? Salvador and, and, and Daniel, yo lo veo con ganas de participar. Hey, um, Walter. Walter. Uh, you start. Salvador, show use that mask. No, that's just marketing. Uh, you don't think about your family? Yes, I do. But the virus is only in. Sure, is your life. Quiet. Nothing happened. Everyone happened. Okay, teacher. Wow, very realistic. <laughs> I only couldn't understand the part when you were saying the body, the virus is in. Virus. The virus is only in the mind. Ah, it's only in your mind. Okay. We Believe me that there are people who think that, okay, who believe that. <laughs> hey, 
when you talk about things for clothes or accessories, things on your body, you use the verb wear, wear a mask. No es use, wear a mask. Porque es algo que usted usa, pero en su cuerpo. Cuando son accesorios y ropa, usamos el verbo wear. W-E-A-R. W-E-A-R. Wear. ¿Ok? Wear earrings, wear a watch, wear a mask. Any other conversation? ¿Alguien más tiene conversación? Teacher, I will. Okay, Fatima. And who's your partner? Okay. Marco. I forgot his name, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Marco. Yeah. Marco. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Marco. I, I will say the situation and Marcos will say the recommendation, right? right. Okay, the advice, yes. The recommendation. advice. Okay. Uh, the the students usually turn off the camera the camera during the class. That's my <laughs> that's my case sometimes. Uh, we I lost. Uh, this the, stu uh, the student should turn Not turn on should the camera during during the class. Uh -huh. The student should not turn off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The the employees usually come late to work. Oh, the employees. Wait one moment. The last one. All right, right. Marcos. The employees should come early to to the work. Yeah, they should organize their Work. time better, right? Yeah. Oh, another. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Or oh, they should wake up teacher. earlier. <laughs> oh, <laughs> also. <laughs> okay. Teacher, I don't know if if we do this in the correct grammatical structure, but I will say, and you can correct me if okay. I am wrong. The yes. company. Children should not respect the social distancing. Quiere decir que la compañía no respeta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. El distanciamiento social. Entonces sería, the company doesn't respect, doesn't oh. respect the social distancing. Wow. Respect. Doesn't okay. respect. Porque es una afirmación, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Ok, Marcos. Say the mm -hmm. suggestion or so the recommendation. The, the company should respect social dis dis distancing. Social distancing. Social distancing. Social distancing. Thank you guys. Wow, the time is running so fast. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's just three minutes Thank before. You, Marcos. Thank you, Fatima and Marcos. Okay, for the wrap up, guys, I would like you to write in the chat the different uh, uh, sentences about, uh -huh, about these pictures in the wrap up. They are about your health. For example, this one, you eat a lot of candy. You eat a lot of fruit. You drink a lot of water. Can you tell me in the chat, please? You saying should and shouldn't? I am ready to read your ideas. Bueno, y si no me las dicen también. <laughs> Uh -huh. You shouldn't, you shouldn't eat a lot of candies. Number two, he should not eat a lot of candies. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Teacher, la segunda, you should. 
You should eat a lot of fruit. Okay, number three. You should drink a lot of water. Number four, what about soda? What about Coca-Cola? You shouldn't drink of a lot of soda. Okay, you shouldn't drink a lot of bit cola, right? Sure. It's not good for your kidneys. Your kidneys. <laughs> you should drink a lot of water. Very good, Alba. What about number five? You, you, you should, should be you exercise, exercise a, lot. a lot. Okay, number six. You shouldn't. Then, you shouldn't, you shouldn't a lot of watch a lot of TV. TV. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Number seven. You shouldn't you eat should a lot of chocolate. A lot you of should? Chocolate. You should? You should not. You shouldn't. Yes, you shouldn't. 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 You because it has a lot you of should. yeah number eight you should play a lot of video you games should? <laughs> you should not yes, <laughs> yes, you, should. you shouldn't play a lot of video games yes you okay should. well there are more exercises that you can do for homework okay ah for homework yes you should you have, you should. Uh -huh. It's because of the time, okay? And here I have another problem. So I waste my money on the things I don't really need. What do you think I should do? I work <clears throat> hard, but my manager doesn't appreciate my work. What do you think I should do? My best friend lied to me. Should I forgive her? What do you think I should do? I feel exhausted all the time. What do you think I should do? And here I have like ways to answer in a polite way. You, you shouldn't say, send me the report. You should say, could you send me the report? You shouldn't say, leave me alone. No, you should say, could you give could me you a minute? Give me. You shouldn't say, tell me when you are available. You should say, let me no. know when you are available. You shouldn't say you are wrong. You should say, I think you might be mistaken. Don't say that's a bad idea. Say you should say I'm not so sure, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. You shouldn't say your work isn't good. You should say I'm not quite satisfied with this work. You shouldn't say I don't like the colors in this design. You should say instead I'm not too fond of the colors in this design. So this is more polite. Okay, guys, it's time to sleep. Don't forget to practice doing that homework. You can send it in the WhatsApp group, please. And Alfredo is already sleeping, but I need you to wake up when I take the attendance for the lesson. Sorry, guys. Alba Vides. Listen. Alfredo Alexander, wake up. <gasps> Alfredo. Present. Carla Maritza. Present. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Cristina Romero. Domingo Alexander. Present. Fátima Portillo. Present. José Matías Lemus. Present. Karina Yamilet. Present. Marco David. Present, teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona. Present. Mauricio Majano. Mauricio no está hoy. No, ¿verdad? He wrote, he wrote present in the chat. Ahí está, ok. Maideli Díaz. Nancy Rodríguez. Present teacher. Maideli está hoy de oyente. Ok. She said present. Eh, Rocío Martínez, Salvador Escobar, Sandra Velázquez, Present. Víctor Salazar, Present. Walter, Walter, 
Okay, Rocio. Thank you. Thank you. And William Perez. William Perez no está. Ya se desconectó. Okay. Thank you guys. I hope you have learned something today. Can you show me with a reaction how you feel after this class? I mean, if you think sí. you have learned something important. Me, entendieron, me no entendieron, se le gustó, no le gustó. With a reaction. Excellent teacher. Excellent. Excellent. With Thanks. a reaction. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for your participation. That makes the class better. More enjoy. Teacher, una consulta. ¿A quién le toca los diez minutos ahora? A Marlon. ¿Por qué no? Ya no lo quiere ganar. <laughs> ya no lo quiere ganar. No se consulta tanto, teacher, porque no voy a... Si quieres quedarse también, hacerle compañía a Marlon. No, no, se va a resentir. <risa> que le done dos minutos, vaya. Ya, yeah. <risa> Ok, guys, uh, you, can this, you, can, um, you can go to rest. Ok, I know you are, you are very tired. It's Friday and the body knows it. I will miss yes. you during the weekend. See you on, fr on Monday. Yeah. Have a beautiful weekend. You too, guys. Um, you too. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Thank you. Nice Bye. Weekend. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Monday. Good see you on Monday. Bye-bye. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Okay, Marlon and Nancy. <laughs> hey, okay, Marlon. How are you? All is fine. Everything all set. Okay, Marlon. I have a question for you. I can see that you have a very yes. good understanding of English. Did you study English before? Thanks, teacher. Yes, I studied at university. Oh, really? Yes. It was the from 20 levels I course, yes, the, the 20, but uh, well, I think maybe for three, three, two years since I don't practice. So the time obviously yeah, take the, 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 the knowledge. <laughs> yeah, but you are, you know, you are refreshing your mind yes. mm -hmm. and that's great and I can see that because you're obviously working. there are the basic the basic things that I have forgot so I am remembering and I'm trying to to practice it more because the practice I think is the most important and obviously yeah. the time that I haven't practiced obviously affect yeah mm -hmm. you tend to forget yeah, but the, but it's good that we have you here in class because uh, you help me with with the students who you know they have never studied English before. So thank you for that. I don't I'm know if you teacher. have any suggestion or recommendation for my class or something that you would like me you would like me to improve. Well, I think that that it's nice. It it's like too much interactive and obviously we try to to connect and to do a, the network right like you said in the previous class i think maybe the time in the activities it could be in some activities two or three minutes more minutes less but i think everything is right oh thank you so much Marlon. that's a relief to know that <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, yeah, I, the thing is I that, think... you know, sometimes for some, well, today you were working with Rocio and she's very smart, right? She's very good yes. at English too. So, so you work fast. 
you finish quickly. But when I was checking, there were other students who needed more time. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. And obviously it depends, right, with the partners. And for that reason, I think if, if you want, you, you can make me do couples with the person that you think that it need maybe more, more oh, time or yeah. more, more yeah, I think yeah. the guide, the right guide. And obviously it's your decision, right? Yes. But yeah. I can, I can help, I can help in the things that you want. Oh, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for being so kind. I, um, well, I have done that before, but today, but sometimes like once in a while, I like to, to, to let you work with, with people that are in the same level as you, right? So in case you finish, you can have some time to practice your English, like in conversation, like a normal conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, but thank yes, you for your, good. thank you for your suggestion. Um, do you have any questions? Well, I think by the topics that we are practicing right now, I think there are not, not too much, not so much. There are maybe cases that obviously I have forgot, but later I, I asked to you and I think that everything, I got it clear. Okay, great. <laughs> yes, and what about the work in the platform? Are you updated? Yes. Well, in fact, I always try to do the complete week. Uh, I, I do that because sometimes, <laughs> sorry, teacher. Don't worry, that happens. <laughs> but sometimes I, I have no time to do every activity in the day that I have to do it, right? But I do the completely week and then I, I forgot. I forgot. You do about the completely week. Okay, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> okay, Marlon. And um, I was going to ask another thing, but I forgot. Okay, can you tell me about your day or, or about your life? I mean, I like to know about the students. What do you do? Do study or work? Uh, actually, I work. I work what? as an uh, industrial engineer, well, productivity engineer at the Cotex. I think that you have here is Marcos, Walter. We have a couple of partners. Okay, so Marco, Walter are your partners too. Your yes, uh, Marcos is in another area. He's in the maintenance area. And Walter is a... Uh, in the same team, he is from engineering area. Nice. And yes, what exactly are exactly? He works. He works for me. <laughs> okay. So you you are his supervisor. Yes, uh, it's a position like that as, okay. as engineer supervisor. Okay, you are in charge of that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are in charge I supervise of the trainer. Mm, interesting. That's great. I mean, how long have you been working for Decotex? I, I am maybe, well, I have worked about two years. Right now, um, I think they are missing just four months to, to have three years since I work for Decotex. Okay, do you like your job? Yes, I think I like my job. I have learned too much and I think that I can I can be learning too much. Okay, and why did you decide to why did you decide to study English? Well, in fact, if we or if the person wants to grow up or maybe in another positions obviously the requirements are, are higher, right? So uh, the English is a really good option because open the doors that you need. Exactly, yeah, that's, that's true. Okay, Marlon, and where do you live, Marlon? I live in Santa Ana. Oh, and Walter too? Does Walter live in Santa Ana too? 
Walter live in Ciudad Arce. Is, Arce. Mm -hmm, Close. It's maybe like, no, um, 30 minutes. Okay, 30 yeah. Minutes. Marco told me that he's from El Congo. Yes, they, they live closer. Okay. Than me, right? Okay, nice. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't know if you want to tell me or ask me something. <laughs> well, teacher, I think right now I have I have no questions. But if I if I see if I think in something that I have forgot, I will do it in the next class. Thank you so much, Marlon. Have a nice night <laughs> and a nice weekend. And I hope to see you next week. Okay. Monday. Thanks, teacher. Good night. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night.